Dr. Hassan Dohid, and today we will talk about research methodology. Before we begin, press the subscribe button and click on this bell icon so you get the notification for my videos every time. Research methodology. So what is research methodology? If you ask a new student, a new researcher, and you ask him what is the research methodology of your project, he will start telling you the method, step-by-step -step process, what he's doing, right? But is this the real research methodology? Is this the way you tell about research methodology? Remember, research language is not English language. Research language is a little, little different than English language. Now let me tell you why. There are two definitions of the word research methodology. There is a disagreement. Yes, there is a disagreement among the scientists. So I am here to tell you both definition. The choice is yours, whatever suits you. Use that definition. If anyone asks you this question in your examinations or any interview, you will know the difference. So ideally you should know both definitions and the choice is yours, whichever you want to follow. The first definition, the most common one is how to do your research systematically. That's the definition number one. How to do your research systematically. Now, the second definition, that's my personal uh, favorite definition. I love this one more than the first one. and I'll tell you why. So the second definition is the philosophy behind your research. The concept behind your research, the justification of your research, the big why of your research, W-H-Y, why, that why are you doing this research? So this is the research methodology. Now let's say you are conducting a research project or I would say an experiment and you have discovered a medication to treat coronavirus, uh, COVID-19. So now you have this, uh, this medication and now you're treating COVID-19. Now your supervisor asks you, what is your research methodology? Now you start to tell him that first I'll do this, first then I'll do that, then I'll do this, then I'll do that, then I'll do this. But according to the second definition, that's not how you tell research methodology. Because the second definition is the philosophy behind your research, the justification behind your research, the concept behind your research, the why of your research. So what will be the definition? What will be the, the way you will tell what you're doing? Let's say your supervisor now asks you, what are you doing? What is your research methodology? You say, to treat COVID-19 patients effectively. That's the why of your research. Everything else comes after this. The research methods, research design, and then everything comes after that. But your research methodology is your concept, the big why of your research. Why are you doing this research? That's why I like this definition, because it goes deeper into the why, the motivation. The motivation. What is the motivation behind your project? So now, from now onward, remember both definitions so that you can say that I know both definitions. One is how to conduct research systematically. Okay, that's okay. But a broader definition one of the best ones that I like, you can use that definition. The concept behind your research, the philosophy behind your research, the idea, the philosophy, the justification of your research, that why are you doing this research? Or in easy language, you can say the motivation behind your research. Why are you doing this research at all? This is what, what research methodology is. Now, if you see a book, with the title research methodology, what do they actually mean? What are they teaching you? This actually means that in this book, you will find every basic concept about research. Everything from A to Z about research basics. That's what you will learn in this book. So when you see a book on research methodology, that means this is an ideal book to read. Doesn't matter who has written it. Ideal book to read and you will find everything related to research. Basics in that book. It will be the step-by-step -step guidance as well, according to the first definition, but 
It will also tell you about the why, the philosophy, the justification, the concept behind your research, and the main motivation behind your research. So remember these two definitions. The definition number one is the step-by-step -step process of your research. The second definition, that's my personal definition, is the motivation behind your research. Why are you doing this research? The concept, the justification, the philosophy of your research. Now remember this, watch this video again, and make sure you understand the correct definition of the word research methodology. And we will meet again in the next video. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.